This is Fashion Fridays. Every Friday we present you with a fashion icon or topic. Today, we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about Trusardi. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Alexers, today we're talking about Trusardi, a high-end fashion brand that's a common name amongst affluent circles. Trusardi is an Italian fashion house that was established in 1911. They started out making gloves and leather goods. In World War II, Trusardi sold most of their products to the Italian army. In the 1980s, they expanded their line to include ready-to-wear clothing. Over the years, they've added perfume, leather goods, bags, suitcases, and jeans to their product lines. Today, Trusardi is a well-known high-end fashion brand with boutiques all over the world, and their biggest store is located in Japan and Italy. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Now that we've gone over a little background info, it's time to take a closer look at the 15 things you didn't know about Trusardi. Number 1. The Trusardi brand has humble beginnings. Trusardi was introduced in the year 1911 by founder Dante Trusardi. Until the 1970s, it sold nothing but leather gloves, with only one store in the town of Bergamo, Italy. Dante Trusardi and his brother were stout conservatives who were not interested in trying to expand their business into any other areas of commerce. They enjoyed a simple life of hunting and dinner parties, which the leather glove business was more than capable of catering to. It was only when Dante's young and ambitious grandson took over in 1970 that things began to change. Now they're famous for products like clothing, perfumes, and belts. Under Nicola's watch, the company became a $485 million fashion house. Number 2. Trusardi's Expansion into the Global Market by the 1970s, the quality of Italian leather had become world-renowned. Brands like Gucci were raking in an incredible amount of wealth. The world just couldn't get enough of handcrafted, high-end Italian fashion. It was always Nicola's ambition to project the quality of Trusardi in a similar light. And in the 1980s, their reputation and net worth gave him enough backing to extend their output on a global scale. They exported onto the scene of international fashion with a Astonishing success. Today, their biggest markets are in Italy and Japan, two of the fashion capitals of the world. They also have stores in Korea, China, the US, and across Europe. Number 3. Are Trusardi Bosses Cursed? In 1970, Dante and his brother were tragically killed in a hunting accident whilst out in the forests near their home in Bergamo. Details of what actually happened have been concealed ever since. Dying in a hunting accident is something that seems to happen surprisingly often to leaders of prosperous empires or kingdoms. However, as there's no evidence to support anything other than a tragic accident, there's no point in speculating on the specifics behind these deaths. Nonetheless, tragic deaths became a trend for Trusardi bosses when Dante's predecessor, Nicola Trusardi, was killed in a car accident in 1999. Nicola was succeeded by his eldest son, Francesco Trusardi. However, after just four years and at the age of 29, he was also killed in a car accident. The current boss and Nicola's second son, Tommaso Trusardi, says that he does not believe in curses or superstition. Number 4. Trusardi's reputation reached new heights of luxury by 1985, and by that time, they had 120 stores worldwide. By 1985, Trusardi had 120 stores worldwide. The reputation as a luxury brand reached new heights when Hollywood A-listers began commissioning Trusardi to produce upholstery for their limousines and private jets. In 1986, Bloomingdale sold their first collection. Luciano Pavarotti delivered a powerful performance to celebrate the introduction. Nicola Trusardi and his mighty ambitions have largely been held responsible for this incredible growth in revenue and reputation. All the groundwork he laid in the 1970s had really begun to pay off. Number 5. Trusardi's most expensive item is a biker jacket sold for $2,545. 
currently. The most expensive piece of merchandise that Trusardi has to offer is a shearling biker jacket for men, which sells at retail for $2,545. This is no typical biker jacket, though. It features faux fur on the shoulders as well as the bottom rear. It's worth so much because of the genuine leather and the skill of local artisans that have become synonymous with high-end Italian fashion. But of course, the Trusardi name itself lends great value to any fashion item in today's market. Number 6. Italy's defeat in World War II had a negative impact on Trusardi. As previously mentioned, Trussardi gained most of its initial wealth by supplying the officers of the Italian armed forces with quality leather gloves. When Mussolini came to power in the 1930s, the Italian army and their need for leather gloves grew dramatically in size. In such a way, Dante Trussardi and his small business gained incredible wealth. However, as the Italian army began to surrender to Allied forces, the atrocities of Mussolini's fascist regime began to reach the international press. Trussardi not only had to find new customers, but also had to quickly disassociate itself with the crimes perpetrated by soldiers wearing their gloves. Number 7. A 2014 marketing campaign was met with distaste. In January 2014, famous photographer William Wagman created an advertising campaign where greyhounds were photographed wearing Trussardi clothing. The dogs were also paraded at a fashion show. The traditional catwalk was transformed into a dog walk. Trussardi's logo was a greyhound, so it seemed to make sense. Wegman himself had become famous for photographing dogs wearing fashionable clothes. However, the campaign was not received well by the general public. Many said it put them off of buying Trussardi clothing because it felt degrading for a high-end clothing brand. People were not willing to accept dogs as replacements for models in fashion shows. Furthermore, animal rights groups also criticized this campaign as the abuse and exploitation of dogs. Number 8. Trussardi Sponsored Controversial Art Exhibits with Paul McCarthy on several occasions, the Trussardi Company sponsored controversial art exhibits by artist Paul McCarthy. One piece was titled Pig Island, which consisted of a large styrofoam island covered in garbage. It was supposed to be a representation of Paul McCarthy's current state of mind, but the average onlooker was not impressed by the dust-covered piles of tools, books, magazines, and Kentucky Fried Chicken buckets. Another that caused problems was an 80-foot helium balloon in the shape of the artist's naked body. But perhaps the most controversial was the hanging of three child mannequins from a tree. However, if art doesn't divide people's opinions and cause offense to some, would it really be art? Number 9. Trussardi went casual when an entirely new range of lifestyle products were launched in tea stores. Beginning in the 1990s, we see Trussardi reaching new heights at a fantastic speed. Up until 1995, Trussardi's clothing and cologne focused on formal elegance. However, Nicola decided that the company was popular enough to diversify its range and target audience. He didn't want to alienate existing customers, but wanted to appeal to a wider market of customers. As a result, Trussardi's stores were conserved, whilst an entirely new range of lifestyle products were launched in tea stores. Tea stores focus on a more casual range of products, such as jeans, sportswear, and exquisite confectionery items. The first tea stores were opened in Bangkok, Seoul, and Hong Kong. Number 10. Trussardi vs. Gucci – The Battle of Italian Luxury Trussardi and Gucci have often been compared because they both supply the world with luxurious handmade garments from Italy. Both also specialize in leather, but that's where the similarities stop. Gucci, in fact, has a net worth of nearly a thousand times more than Trussardi. Their popularity pervades every level of society, even if only the rich can afford to buy their products. Trussardi is a lot more reserved. Those that appreciate the brand are generally customers. Its international image is certainly more understated. If you want to know some more about Gucci, though, then have a look at our top 10 most expensive Gucci items of all time by clicking in the top right corner. Number 11. Gaia Trussardi left the company in April 2018 and announced her resignation from the board. 
One of Trusardi's iconic characteristics is how family-oriented the running of the company has always been. Nicola Trusardi and his wife had four children, Francesco, Beatrice, Gaia, and Tommaso. As mentioned earlier, Francesco died in a car crash at the tender age of 29. Beatrice became president of Trusardi Fondazione following her father's death in 1999. The foundation helps to promote contemporary art. Gaia was appointed creative director in 2013. Tommaso became CEO of the company in 2017. However, in April 2018, Gaia announced her resignation from the board in order to pursue her own projects. This was the first time in the company's history that a family member had departed from the board without actually departing from the land of the living at the same time. Number 12. Trusardi's 2018 fall-winter collection was met with mixed reviews. This year, Trusardi is taking the Italian tradition of going to the northern mountain regions as its theme. The result is clothing that is urban and rugged but still conventional. Wool coats and mountain print jackets were the highlights of the fashion show held in Modena, Italy earlier this year. The show was described as being a hit or miss. Some thought the collection represented an avant-garde charm, whilst others criticized it as superfluous ostentation, such as large, impractical flaps and unnecessary zippers. However, one of the major controversial talking points was the pink leather biker jacket. Number 13. Priyanka Chopra never leaves the house without Trusardi perfume. Quantico star Priyanka Chopra is known on social media as a fashion junkie. She said one thing she never leaves the house without is her signature scent by Trusardi, Donna Eau de Parfum. She said she carries it with her on set at all times and sprays herself with the perfume after every shoot. This kind of publicity can only do wonders for Trusardi. Number 14. Tommaso Trusardi married Michelle Hunziker in 2014. Tommaso Trusardi married Michelle Hunziker three years before becoming CEO of the company. In 2014, the couple held an extravagant wedding by invitation only. The paparazzi were strictly forbidden. Hunziker was pregnant with the couple's second child during the wedding. It was an opulent Italian wedding that didn't hold back on anything. Hunziker wore a striking strapless white wedding gown for the ceremony. What else would you expect when a Trusardi family member marries a beautiful actress worth upwards of $10 million. Number 15. Vogue Japan has ranked Trusardi as their number one European luxury brand for 18 of the last 27 years since 1991. Perhaps Trusardi's biggest impact on the fashion world is their unbridled success in Tokyo, Seoul, and Hong Kong. For some reason, Vogue Japan has ranked Trusardi as their number one European luxury brand for 18 of the last 27 years since 1991. The impact that Trusardi has had on the fashionable trends in the Far East has gotten greater than any other European brand over the last three decades. And there you have it, Alexers, 15 things you didn't know about Trusardi. Now we're very curious to know. Giving a good explanation, which Trusardi item do you think will be worth the most in 50 years' time? Let us know in the comments. And as always, for sticking with us all the way to the end, what does that mean? Of course, you get a bonus. Here it is. Number 16. Tommaso Trusardi became the youngest CEO of a high-end fashion brand. In 2017, Tommaso Trusardi took over the fashion house from a board of directors that included his mother. He continues to oversee 440 stores and 20 companies. At just 35 years old, Tommaso is the youngest CEO of any luxury fashion house in the world. Given his success, experts estimate that Trusardi is worth millions. However, Tommaso keeps his personal finances out of the public gaze. But with Trusardi announcing revenue sales of more than $140 million last year, we're assuming he's worth a fair few dead presidents. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.